Hi lovies! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video is gonna be my bird story. So yeah, I had my baby last February 2nd, 2019. And if you haven't uh, seen my last video that I introduced my baby, I'm gonna link it down below. So yeah, today's video is gonna be my bird story. Unfortunately, um, I didn't have the chance to record or video the whole uh, process, but I still want to share with you my labor and delivery story. January 31st, 2019, I went to the bathroom at around 4 a.m. to pee and there's like a light brown discharge. And I knew from that from that time that I'm gonna have my labor pretty soon. So the following day, Friday, February 1st, same time like around 4 and 5 a.m. I, again, I went to the bathroom to pee and there's blood. And I'm having like this period cramps. So I'm like, oh. Uh, maybe this is the start, but I didn't know. I knew it was coming soon, but I didn't know it was that day. So I still went on my daily routine, my schedule, like cleaning the house, cooking, stuff like that. Because the pain is like on and off. So like maybe it's not going to happen now, but I still prepare myself. Around 3 p.m., Andrea and I went to the grocery store to do our daily every two weeks grocery shopping. When we went home, he made us burgers and it was good. And the pain is starting to like go intense. Excuse us if my if there's some like baby noise in the background because my baby is right over there sleeping but making like baby noises it was so cute so yeah around that time we're timing like the contraction because it was like intense and i say intense period pain and it's radi radiating to my back to my lower back so i'm like maybe it starts to time the contraction the intervals were seven to ten minutes so like maybe let's keep let's stay in the house and still time the contractions and then at around 7 30 that night the contractions like intense but still tolerable i can still tolerate the pain but i'm like we, I think we, we need to go to the hospital just to check if I'm dilating or not because I don't want to keep on going to the hospital and then they're gonna say that oh you're not dilating um, and then they're gonna and they are gonna send us back home excuse me for a second I'm just gonna pick up my baby hello people I'm Alea I just want to be held. So yeah, around 7.30, we went to the hospital just to check if I'm dilating or not. And then we went to um, emergency room. And from there, they asked for my information and stuff like that. And then they brought us to triage. From triage... Hi, baby. Love you. From triage they they asked for my urine sample my information and stuff like that but luckily i'm registered to the hospital yes babe i'm registered to the hospital so it was easy um they asked to put they asked me to put the hospital gown they put an ultrasound to my belly to monitor the baby's heart rate and then they did an internal examination to check if I'm dilating and in our surprise 
Oh, I was already 8 centimeters. Like, oh, time to push. Time to push this baby out. So they admitted us. Around 9 to 10, ah. p 9 to 10 p.m., my baby is crying. <laughs> 9 to 10 p.m., they brought us to our labor and delivery room. And from there, they set up the, big, the monitor to my belly, then the IV fluids, and then the epidural the anesthesiologist came and tell us about the pros and cons of epidural, the procedure, stuff like that. And then I had the epidural. Around 11 p.m., the nurse um, started to like ask me to push. Oh, my baby. Start to um, ask me to push and push. And I must say that labor is different from pushing. Pushing is the hardest part for me because it felt like I was going to the gym over and over and over i feel like so tired and i can't i can't and um just hard and then at around 1 59 a.m this baby right here the grumpy baby came out and that was the best thing happened to me it was the pain that i went through like i forgot all about it because she was here, right, baby? So, oh, my baby love, are you hungry? Yeah, we're gonna eat pretty soon, okay? Yeah, and then from there, from the pushing, the doctor, <laughs> oh, the, the, the doctor, um, uh, wait, after the delivery of this baby, followed up by the delivery of the placenta. The placenta was not that painful like pushing the baby. Oh, oh, pushing the baby out. But I had the tear and they needed to stitch me up. So, but overall, the experience was memorable. That's the best day of my life. Andre and I's life. And here's my baby right here. So, that's it for my video because my baby is grumpy so subscribe to my channel like this video hit the notification bell and i see you in my next video bye